Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to multiply algebraic fractions. So, uh, we're going to be looking at these two just to start off with. Um, you will have seen multiply, watch the multiply fractions video, um, GCSE stuff, just to give yourself a bit of a reminder. But to multiply fractions, you just multiply the numerators together and you multiply the denominators together. Okay, um, Exactly the same for algebraic fractions, the only thing is, after you do it, you want to try and cancel down. Okay, So, factorise the top line, bottom line, and see what cancels. Okay. Let's have a look at this first one. So A times C is AC. Denominator B times A is AB. Notice there's an A here and there's an A here. They would cancel out, so you're left with C over B. Some people cancel at this stage and cancel the A here and the A here. I tend to just multiply and cancel at this point. As long as you're cancelling it, it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. Um, with numbers, though, it's sometimes easier to cancel at the beginning, but, you know, um, Right, uh, multiplying this one together, well, if x plus 1 times 3, well, x plus 1 times 3 is going to be 3 bracket x plus 1. I tend to keep, whenever you're doing a, like x plus 1 times 3, your expressions on the top lines times together, I tend to want to keep them in brackets, you know, uh, I don't tend to expand them yet. You'll see why in the next step, okay? 2 times x squared minus 1 would be uh, 2 bracket x squared minus 1, okay? Now, this x squared minus 1 is a difference between two squares. x squared is a square number, 1 is a square number. So you're going to do difference between two squares on this denominator. So you're going to get 3 bracket x plus 1 over 2 bracket, 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 bracket. It's a square number, square number, so square root them both. x1, x1 plus minus. Now you'll see here that now things will cancel out. So whenever you're timesing things with more than one term on the numerator and the denominator, keep them in brackets and then try to factorize anything and then see if things cancel. So this x plus 1 cancels with this x plus 1. So your answer is going to be 3 over 2 bracket x minus 1. And that's it. Let's have a look at another couple of, oh, another, one more example. Okay, uh, so here we've got another example. We've got x plus 3 over x squared plus 10x plus 25 times x squared plus 5x over x squared plus 3x. Um, so, as we said earlier, we're going to multiply the top line, multiply the bottom line. Because this is a bit more complicated than the ones before, what I would tend to want to do is to tend to factorise whatever I can before I multiply. I wouldn't tend to cancel out, I don't cancel out yet, but what I do is tend to try and factorize it. So we'd have x plus three, that doesn't factorize, over, this would be bracket, 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 x plus five, x plus five. Okay, because x squared plus 10x plus 25 would factorize to be x plus five, x plus five times x squared times 5x, x comes out as a common factor there, so you're going to have x bracket x plus 5, and then the, on the bottom line you've got x squared plus 3x, again x comes out as a common factor, so you get x plus x bracket x plus 3. Now we're going to times them together, so we're just going to put them all beside each other, okay? If it's more than one term on the top line, I tend to put it in brackets, and you'll see, I'm just going to explain how I would write that out, okay? So you've got x plus 3, times x, because the x is just on its own, I tend to put that in front of it like that, okay? And times x plus 5, so times x plus 5. On the denominator, I've got x, so I'm gonna, or let's actually do this in order, x plus 5, x plus 5, so x plus 5, x plus 5. The x on its own, I tend to put in the front again, okay? And then I've got x plus 3. Let's see what cancels. The x and the x cancel. The x plus 3 and the x plus 3 cancels. And one of the x plus 5s divided by the x plus 5s cancel. Now, on the top line, you'll see everything's cancelled. Well, remember, x divided by x is 1. x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is 1. x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 is 1. 1 times 1 times 1, 1. So on the top line, we're going to have 1. And on the denominator, we've just got this x plus 5. So all this times together, whenever you um, factorise it, times them and put all the brackets beside each other and cancel the brackets, you just get 1 over x plus 5, which I think is pretty neat. 